We were introducing multiple staff members, so let's introduce one now. Alt 2 and create your first rectangle. My first rectangle will be on the left side to show the image of the person. Shape outline, of course. No outline, shape fill, of course, our darker color. Now, which person do we want? Do we want Tom? Maybe this person, because we didn't use her earlier, she is turned to the side, this isn't quite inviting, but let's use it. Crop to shape. Maybe her personality shines through. Aspect ratio, select a square, one to one. You want the square, of course, to be small and her to be smaller maybe as well. Okay? But we need to keep in mind that we need to crop the photo properly and we are limited here. I'll try to do that. Okay, I'm selecting crop and we have the first part done. The next thing would be to put a few stars here just so we know that she is a top-notch professional in our staff and at least those stars are well prepared by PowerPoint and the Microsoft developers. Format, shape fill, something golden, like this, shape outline, no outline, make it smaller, Control C, Control V, maybe five of them will be proper, one, two, three, four, five, okay. On the very right side, on the very left side, okay, take those three in the middle, Select the left one, select the, select the right one, format, align, distribute horizontally, align middle, and I have it. Okay, those five stars look really okay. Now probably we should fill the slide a bit. We could fill it with some text boxes. Do we have some more text? And of course the title. Okay, I'll take those three boxes, I come back and I paste them in. Of course the title should be here in the middle, but the text could be here on the left side. The text can be white or a bit gray, so it isn't as important as it looks. Okay, take the text, make the text smaller, and I believe we have the left side of the slide prepared. Now when it comes to the right side, our expert, let's call it like that our expert, take the tagline, maybe I want the tagline to be as well in the middle and this in the middle, okay, this will be easier to work with, perfect. I have the top of the slide as well prepared. To finalize my idea, I would like a small tagline. I'll go to Alt 2 and I'll select a rectangle, a rectangle like that, a small one. I will hold my left Alt key so it doesn't snap to anything, like that. Then Alt 2 and select a few circles. Now depending on how many items you want on the timeline, format, please no outline, Ctrl C, Ctrl V, maybe one more item in the middle, Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and one on the right side. I would like a gradient to go through this entire design, but at first I would need to combine the shapes, because now each shape is separately. Format, merge shapes and not combine, I wanted to union them. Now I can go to gradient fill and on the left side I want my red color. On the right side we can stay with our grayish darkish color. And you can see how the timeline nicely progresses now, from red to this darker color. This was a matter of adding a few text boxes, just copying the text over and making it the same color as the top text. On the bottom we could maybe select some skills, like three progress bars with skills. We've already created a progress bar previously, so I'll just take it, press Ctrl C and I'll press Ctrl V here. And you can see already all the colors, everything is consistent and I really like the progress bars we did. They could be of course made a bit different, for example this middle one, for example this middle one could be a bit smaller. I could place it on the left side, I could extend it, I could come closer, even closer and extend it a little bit, but this isn't important, it can stay like it was before. Here I would call the skills and maybe add some icons to show some percentage, like here I would write Photoshop, like that, and do we need more? We simply extend them a little bit, we come closer, 
we extend them just so they cover the middle of the screen. I'm trying to place them more in the middle. I take those, I place them as well equally and voila, we have one person, plenty of information. I would say even this is too much of information because we have both a timeline, we have our skill sets, but I wanted to show you what's possible, how you could approach that and how to make a slide really complete when it comes to introducing a person.